I would guess that many people who have sung this hymn can recall most of the hymn text in its entirety, or at least the refrain. Clearly, Philip Bliss knew exactly what he was doing with this text. He used his background as an educator to influence many generations of singers over the course of the last century and a half. Bliss is well known from his work with the evangelistic revival meetings of the mid-19th century. He and his wife Lucy defined the era with a life on the road as traveling evangelists with their colleagues for many years to come. Most of these worship services took place in the Midwestern and the Southern United States, and they served as the framework within which Bliss wrote his hymn texts and tunes. Bliss would have taught many of his songs in these revival meetings by rote, and Wonderful Words of Life is filled with examples of repetition. The phrase Wonderful Words is repeated throughout this hymn a total of 18 times, and the larger phrase Wonderful Words of Life a total of 12 times. The poetic devices he employs also help to teach the hymn. Words is personified throughout the hymn as teachers wooing us to heaven and offering pardon and peace to all. His life was cut short at age 38 as he and Lucy were involved in a train wreck in Ohio on their way to Chicago to assist in evangelistic services. It is believed that Bliss escaped the crash, but the carriages caught fire and he returned to try and save his wife Lucy. Even the last moments of his life served as an example of one who followed the gospel call. As one learned in and devoted to faith and duty, Bliss spent his last efforts helping his wife. May the singing of these wonderful words be a reminder of the power of words, the Spirit moving through their proclamation and the call of Christ. Wonderful words of life.